guys, what's the crack? This is Gar and this is Gar's Anatomy. We're hanging out here with uh, Sheep, Mr. Sheep. I, don't, I was going to give him a name and then I realised I can't think of a name. I was so devoid of creativity that I couldn't come up with a name for that sheep. Oh, well. So basically we're just getting some wool here because I really want to make one of those rain mufflers. And we were out of wool, so can't do that without wool, right? So, um, yeah, just just doing that a little bit. We've got a pretty cool episode up today coming. I've got a couple of things planned. Um, lots of sort of like, well, not automating these things necessarily, but you know we need to, we, we're sort of we're, we need to get a certain number of, of different resources um, in preparation for you know maybe developing this heart build out a little bit more. Oops, days. God, that was a weird frame rate spike, wasn't it? Um, most of a, most of it is like um, TPS. Sorry. What am I talking about? Most of it is like steel. You know, we're going to get some steel. We also need to get some tesseracts and things. So we're going to need to get some, you know, different cool things. Just looking up Jabba there. I'll show you why in a second. I also thought it'd be pretty cool if we could maybe take a look at what is underneath here. I'm not sure if... Shall I use the lumber axe? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's just use the lumber axe. I'm pretty sure there's usually both a... Uh, well, a spawner under here and then a chest, so let's get both of those, shall we? Let's see what's in this chest. Because I haven't looked at this at all yet, and it might be something cool. We've got some iron horse armor. We'll ignore that. In fact, is any do we want any of these things? Uh, we'll take the music disc, I guess. But apart from that, nothing in particular that we wanted. Oh, God. This is some really strange frame rate spikes coming up here. Really strange. But let's get to this great wood, because it's not exactly rare, but it's not exactly rife either but yeah cool i think i've got another one over here actually should we go and take a look at this this other one before we um go back to the base what the hell is that sheep doing in the tree let's go and let's go and get this one as well before we um before we take back to the base and sort of get started on the episode proper as it were the things i've got planned none of which are like crazy ridiculous but all of which are you know sort of Part and parcel of things that we need to get going in modern Minecraft in order to have a good LP. And I want to have a good LP. If you guys think I have a good LP, I would be very grateful if you hit the like button. If you don't, you're more than welcome to hit the dislike button. Has somebody stolen my spawner? I think they have. Huh. Well, I don't really get to... Oh, yeah. We even looted the chest. Or it just had that in it. Oh. No. Oh. What is frame rate doing? Hmm. Wow, it seems to be pretty intense as I look over here. No, no, it's it's going back to normal again. Whoa, 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 Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Hmm. Peculiar. Oh, check out that. That's something we're going to be working on this episode. Not necessarily uh, automating that because it's going to be a bit hard in this current version. But we've got an update coming. We have an update coming with the Chaos Will Pack. We're... Not there yet, but we're almost there. You can hear something that's going on downstairs. Uh, where did I put this? Yes, let's let's finish up the um, let's finish up. I wish I could shift click, and you can, and, and so many other things. How many more of these did I need? I needed enough to get uh, two more. So yeah, we've got plenty. We've got plenty. That should be no problem. Bang, and let's put that there, that there, and that there, and we've got that. Now, where did I put these other? Hmm, I know I had more than that. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I've got one too many. Oh, well. That's cool. And it's around a bucket of water, isn't it? We've got buckets in here somewhere. There we go. Oh, my inventory's already a mess. Just started the episode. The inventory is already a mess. You know what I never use? I never use my sorting system. I really bloody well should, shouldn't I? Uh... I really, really well should. Uh, let me just put the wool back in here because that's where I had it not too long ago. Right, let's go get a bucket of water and finally we can make this rain muffler. It's a pity that we're not actually going to get a chance to use it right now because it's a pity it's not raining. It's <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say, which I'm bemused by because I hate the rain. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Rain muffler. Let's whack this down here and that should make a big difference okay cool so let's put these away why the hell not and let's have a look at other spawners we have right now so we've got three zombie spawners and a skelly spawner which is nice and a case batch spawner and we also downstairs you may may have remember, uh, may have heard let's get this out right there guys i'm so sorry i don't know, do not know why my frame rate is gone down to 
a little bit under 30. That's not ideal. I hope it's not too obvious for you guys on the YouTubes. Um, I'll have to do more investigation to see what that is, but I don't really have time though. I want to get recording and explain some things. I've placed my blaze spawner down here, and what I'm doing is I've just been AFKing a really small amount so far, but just enough to get some blaze rods. Um, I've also chunk loaded my. Oh dear, this is not great, is it? I need to work out what that is. These, these big spikes. Sorry, I'll, I'm getting distracted. I've turned off my slime farm because I've already got. That's why I was looking up job. I had to increase my stack there. Um, so we've got lots of slime balls. We also have a lot of. Uh, there we go. I'm going to show you what area I'm, 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 I'm spawning right now. If I go to overlay uh, loaded chunks, you can see I've got everything loaded, including this. Uh, whenever the time comes, I will load this as well. Um, I might actually move this over to there so I'm not loading a whole pile of redundant chunks um, eventually. Um, but it's not too important right now. I might actually turn it off whenever I go off because I'm not all that keen on having chunks loaded all the time. But the reason I had to bump that up is because I did something silly. I chunk loaded it to the stage where I was... This was chunk loaded, so I was using power just for basic, you know, just keeping stuff going. But I wasn't chunk loading my generation. Luckily, I had a big thing of wood here, so I was able to kickstart it again. So that, was no, that wasn't too big of an issue. And I'm actually going to steal some of this wood right now and put it in because it's good to have um, a ba bit of a backlog, um, I think, anyway. So we're we're building that up again, and that's why I'm really keen to get some steel on the go in order to get a move on with with with, with getting better power and, and, and ha having stuff like that. But again, what do I... Oh, let's get rid of that overlay, because that's not going to be good. What the hell did I just do there? Uh, overlay. Get rid of it. Thank you. So... Things that we've got going today. Well, you'll see in here that I've crafted myself a metallurgic infuser. You'll also see that I was processed all my ores, so we're doing really good. In fact, it, it's inspired me to sing a song. Look at my ores. My ores are amazing. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Um, the less I do of that, the better. Many of you are saying, so I won't do that in future. But yeah, I just, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> no, I'm very much embarrassed. Anyway. Uh, let's put this bucket of empty bucket back as well. Okay, so things that to do today. Things to do today. My metallurgic infuser is up, and I also want to get some of the coal that I had. You know what? Let's take a random number. Five. Turn it back into coal. I don't know why, if I needed to do that. Oh, Bunsible sleeping. Let's sleep to join him, and we can talk about things. Oh, no, it's already gone, because it's just me and him online. Um, there's been more recently. So, we want to get some steel. We also want to get some... Let's look, let's look at the things we need, right? We need, so we need a, we need a high-pressure boiler. Uh, hopefully this will come up. So that's, that's going to need a lot of steel. Like, a lot. We're going to need a rolling machine, too, which I forgot about. Um, so we're going to need a lot of steel. Uh, we're also going to need a lot of... Well, not, not, not necessarily a lot, but we're going to get some tesseracts. And in order to get tesseracts, um, we're going to need resin enders. We need a lot of ender pearls. Now, we've got a decent amount, like a healthy amount, for just having it, you know, completely and utterly um, done manually. But it's not exactly, we're not exactly coming under with this stuff. So, I wanted to come and take a look at... I was going to try automating it, but I th apparently that's not exactly entirely easy. Let's get, let's get, I don't know, four stacks of steel... I could do the maths, or I could just wing it. <laughs> Let's do the maths. Let's do the maths. Okay, so we want to get a boiler. Um, that's going to need one of these fireboxes. Does that need steel? No, it needs fire charges, but that's fine. Okay, so let's actually look at the high-pressure tank. So there's th different dimensions there that it shows you. Okay, so what size should we go for? Should we go for the biggest one? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we should go for 3 by 3 by 3 That makes sense. So 3x3x3 three by three by three would be 27 of these blocks. Now each of these blocks requires two of these. And each of these, no, tw so 27 would be, actually that's a difficult number to do because 20, uh, no, no it's not. 27 times, 27 of these is going to require uh, 54 of these. And you get 4 per 4, so that's 54 steel ingots. So we actually don't need that much. Hmm. 
And if I've d misdone the maths, I apologize. I'm, I'm, whenever I'm on pressure to record... Oh, what did I do that for? When I'm on the pressure to record, I often don't do the maths perfectly, perfectly well. But we're going to use this cool method for using steel, which uses... Um, the mechanism machines and the mechanism machines are things I think I'm going to be using a lot of in future because we're getting an update. Can I not just put that in? Apparently it, I can but it doesn't uh, actually go into the thing. Okay, cool. And let's see if that works now. Now this should get us, I think it's like steel dust or something. Let's see. Let us see. Let's put a whole thing in there because why not. And let's put this in here temporarily. Yes, enriched iron, ooh, which we infuse again with coal to get steel dust. Okay, so it's it's going to be heavy on the coal. Yeah, it's going to be heavy on the coal. Does it tell you how much coal you need for this? Is it one to one? Well, that's not too bad if it is one to one. Okay, well we're not too bad. We're not. We've got a decent amount of coal. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at our ender pearls because another thing we're going to need is ender pearls. And I, one of the things from that you get from like doing so much exploration in Miscraft is a whole pile of treasure. <laughs> oh, hello. And oh, that was easy. Oh, even got pyre one. Nice. Let's go put that in our enchanted, in our chest full of sort of junky uh, armor and tools and things that have enchantments on it because I actually have another project. I want to talk to you guys about in the future. Today is mostly just talking and preparing. I hope you guys don't mind that too much. Um, so we have lots of these ender lily seeds. And actually, because I chunk loaded, they've all grown now, which is amazing because you usually need uh, end stone to do it. So we're actually we're gonna just going to come along here. You don't always get an ender pearl, and you don't always get an extra... Oh, no, I think you always get an ender pearl, but you don't always get an extra seed. But actually, God, that was pretty damn good, wasn't it? So how many seeds have we got now? Whoo, that was pretty good. Guys, that was not bad. So 29. Now, in the future, you can use the Mine Factory Reloaded Farms to, to do stuff with this. But unfortunately, that's not the case at the moment. Lying is not a, an automation setup at the moment, but it doesn't work entirely. Um, uh, we've got this working on grass. That's cool. It works a lot faster. These grow a lot faster on end stone. And you can make end stone in this mod pack, which is really cool. So I think we're going to make that. Um, and I think we're going to make it. We could do this recipe with the fluid transposer. I think we're going to use the, um, the the casting here. So uh, how much? We need 72 millibuckets of resonant ender. So how about we fly up to here? Oh, or not, because we're obviously dead on fire. So let's fly up here for a couple of reasons, actually, to both charge our... Uh, jetpack, which is going soon because we're getting rid of IC2 in both the Chaosville and Resonant Rise mod packs, which I am not too disheartened about, to be utterly honest. It doesn't exactly disappoint me massively. Um, but we've got cooler things to take over, so let's quickly just uh, charge this up. I really love how quickly this charges, though. I think I'm going to miss that. And let us also do a little bit of an experiment where we put in one ender pearl. Oh, hello cobble. I didn't want you to be in there. Let's put in one ender pearl. Can I do that? Yes. And let's stop recording to see roughly when how much end fluid we get out of one ender pearl and then we can do an exact experiment for how much end stone and stuff we get. Show uh <laughs> I don't know why I paused there. One Resonant Ender get one Ender Pearl gets us two hundred fifty millibuckets of Resonant Ender. Sorry, guys. Let me just try something here. Wow, that really does make a difference. For some reason, I'm using a timer. <laughs> well, I'm using a timer at the moment to um to to help me record. And whenever I stop the timer, it improves my frame rate. How bizarre. Okay, so uh one to get us that. Okay, can I click on uses for this? No, I have to do it this way. Oh, hello. Okay, so uh. Ignore that. So that's strange. We actually get so we get 250. How many times does 72 go into 250? Uh, roughly, uh, it'll go about three times with a little bit left over. So with three obsidian, we get three end stone. We've got 29 and a little seed. So how about we try and get 30 end stone because we might get an extra. So 30 end stone would be got by uh, from about 10 obsidian. So I think we can do this reasonably well. Let me see if we can auto well, not automate it, but at least, you know, do it this way, and then I can do go off camera and actually just 
do it, I guess. So let's say 10 obsidian. There we go. And let's put it, I think the way we work this is we put it in a basin. And we want to pump Ender into it. Now, do I have, let me go, let's see if this works. Now there's in there. And hopefully it dries. Awesome. Now let's see. Oh. Oh, oh, I've already got it going in. Wait a minute. Oh, it'll be in the hopper, won't it? Awesome. And then if I put another... Oh, no, dearie me. How did that not work? Oh, no, it's going to take forever. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, okay, I guess using the... Whatchamacallit won't be the smartest idea because it's... Uh, a little This will do. Um, using the... Um, uh, pipes here isn't the smartest idea because it will effectively not allow us to place this in here. Let me try get one more time. Damn it. Okay, so off camera we go <laughs> in order to uh, place this in properly and get some end stone. So I will be back when that happens. So just manually done this setup a bit differently. So hopefully now we should be getting the end stone as we desire and I think I'm also just going to put in so we got okay so we got three three there let's just see make sure we don't have 72 left yeah we have a little bit less than 72 so that's cool I can work out exactly how much ender pearls to put in put them in and then get enough for 30 end stones so I'm just going to do that off camera uh, because it's a bit boring to watch all that stuff at the same time, and I'll be back once I've done it, alright guys? You know what guys, whilst that is cooking up, how good is this rain muffler working? Really well. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot I put that thing up there. That was to work out exactly... Oh, if I frozen? Well, that's not exactly a good sign, although saying that, looking up... Wow, that's... My frame rate is now 90 when I look up. When I look down, it's... This is really low. So there's clearly something I'm, I need to do some experimentation as to what the hell is reducing my lag, reducing, uh, reducing my frame rate here. I'm sorry. I know I've been going on about it like a bit like a broken record. I will stop from now on. I'll also do it, do methods to increase the frame rate off camera. I'm sorry for any annoyance caused. Whilst that's cooking up, I also thought I would do something pretty cool. Um, we have now got a stack of 10 miniature red hearts. Now, I don't know if you know, but with these miniature red hearts, you can make heart canisters. What you need are some empty canisters, which is just some aluminum, which I think I have some of in here. Maybe I don't, actually. Oh, do I not have any aluminum? Oh my god, Molly's getting to me. Aluminium. Do I not have any aluminium? I don't. Okay, uh, do I have to use a... Um, do we have to use the smeltery to get this, or can I just smelt it uh, to get aluminium? Hmm. If my game ever decides to catch up with me, I'll let you know, guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now with this game, because it wasn't like this at all earlier. Okay, you can sm smelt it with just the pyrothium dust into aluminium. So yes, you do seemingly need to use the smeltery to make this aluminium. That is cool. I'll get some of that up as well, and we'll start cooking that. In fact, you know what? Let's just get a stack. Why the hell not? Uh, because we also want to make some heart canisters. We've got some diamonds, so we can we can we can do that now, which is pretty awesome. How many? How much resident ender have we got in here now? Quite a significant amount. So we're gonna keep going with this. And whilst that's going, let's put in. Oh, we can't even put in the entire stack. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll smelt up some of that too, which is really cool. All right. I'll be back once I've got all this preparation work done up and then we can wrap up the episode by hopefully crafting some heart, heart canisters and maybe replanting that et resonant or sorry that ender lily seed area with ender stone. So I'm trying to automate this and it appears that it's working. Awesome. So I've just set this up to automate. We should get I think two stacks of aluminium from there. That's cool. We've got our oh I can oh my god. How did I completely miscalculate that? Right, whatever. I, I knew I had so much more, and and uh, people are going to be shouting at the screen. I I knew I had so much more resonant ender in there than I had in stone. I obviously didn't get enough obsidian. Anyway, not to worry. Of course, I need at least thirty blocks of obsidian, not ten. What am I doing? <laughs> anyway, let's 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 actually just plant this now. We've got ten, so uh, we need a three by three, and then just a little one. 
And let's actually just plant this. And this should get us a lot faster growth of the ender lilies, which should be cool. Now we're chunk loading, so that's cool. It's going to come back pretty quickly. Um, now we've got our aluminium things ca uh, crafting upstairs. So there's a couple of things we want to do to finish off the episode. We want to get some jeweled apples. Now I think I have some apples in here, or did I move them into my organics chest? Looks like I did. Okay, so we can go about halfway. So let's let's put the uh, other five back there. So that's cool. Now we need to make the jeweled apples. So how do we make those again? Four diamonds. So we need 20 diamonds total. Luckily, I have quite a few. So 20 would be uh, that, wouldn't it? Just, God. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Anything in here? No, so that's cool. Okay, I hear a zombie. I always forget to close my door. I'm just trying to be a bit quick about this, guys. Uh, my videos tend to sometimes go over, so I'm trying to get them like targeted and a bit more focused. If you appreciate that, appreciate that, let me know, because that's always good to know in the comments, uh, which is really good. So we've got that, we've got that. Do we have any necrotic bones? I know we have some. We have three. Well, oh, that's a shame. We do, however, have uh, both... Uh, where are you? There we go. Pretty sure that's a wither skeleton, isn't it? Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. We also have a auto spawner. Uh, we also have a good amount of mob essence. So what, another thing we're going to do right now is we are going to just get a couple of buckets. Get that. Uh, get this. And we are going to you. We're going to fill up the auto spawner with mob essence. We're going to take this, and we're going to just borrow this for now because we don't need that to be there. We're going to take that. I'm going to put that there so that it has power. What am I not powering, by the way, at the moment? Fluid transposer and whatever this is, the sawmill. Let's go. We're going to... Oh, dear. Uh, this is going to be awkward with the... Oh, this is going to be so awkward with the goddamn things in there. We're going to take the blaze spawner, if we can. Okay, that's cool. We got that. Uh, let's see if we can now place the spawner. Cool. I don't really care too much that it doesn't... What am I taking? Oh god, yeah, I forgot that I did that setup. God, that almost killed me. Uh, oh dear, let me just place that that there so that we don't die. Although it's going to break it, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, let's put that there and hopefully it won't break it. Awesome. Let's also just place that. No, 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 no. That there. Okay, it blows through the glass. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Now what do we need? Uh, we need... Mob essence. Oh yeah, I, in an effort to try and reduce frame rate stuff, I actually uh, moved these into. Um, did I get mob essence from that? Good. I changed these to drums because apparently the open blocks tanks are pretty uh, laggy when it when it comes to that. So yeah, that's unfortunately I'm still getting frame rate issues, which is a bit of a shame. Let's just give ourselves some health. I don't want to get into too much trouble with this. Now can I? I need to just come up and click that, and click that, and how much have we got in there? We need another two to fill it up. That's okay. I actually just want to, like, spawn a decent amount of these, and I'm going to just sit there by it and make sure that we get the the weather things. But we can make three still, and then I think that's pretty much how we're going to end the episode, which I think is pretty pretty good episode, if I don't say so myself. So, there we go. We got that. We want to put down the pyre, so we'll put that underneath. Um, in here, and we'll put it, uh, excuse me, put it there, are you getting pyre? No you're not, because you're not set to output on the top, you're getting pyre now, uh, can we put some cobble, yes we can, oh, too much cobble, <laughs> uh, there we go, okay, so, oh, we got this, it's looking pretty good, I'll break that later. What we want to do is spawn a exact copy, yes, and then we want to get out of here as quickly as we can afterwards, but then uh, what we want to do is make sure that the clear glass is, actually this, this is making a difference to the fan, so we can remove that. That's our escape path, because these weather skeletons will hurt us otherwise. Oh dear, come on, okay. Um... If I shift-click, does that make a difference? Nope, I, it still pushes me off the edge. 
Oh my god, these fans. These fans are literally going to be the death of me here. Come on, Rod of Restoration. Heal me up, please. Okay, now we're going to run out of <laughs> mana, whatever the equivalent is. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see if I can get in the infant get in the inventory but then no that's going to kill me fly no <sighs> well at least i got an interesting death message <laughs> yeah i don't know if graves have been turned off i'm not getting in my grave anymore interesting why is my jetpack being used permanently what the hell's going on there oh come on ah uh, uh. Come on, get all my stuff. Okay, that was weird. Uh, where's my sword and stuff gone? Is it in here? Oh yeah, all my stuff's in here. Okay, good. Uh, we got this, this, blah, 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 Bang, bang, bang. That'll do. Uh, right, screw it. We'll do it a different way. Um, if we just fly up this way, I'm pretty sure... I can reach this, can I? Okay, I can't. Damn it, it's gonna kill me again. Come, come on, for the love of God! Okay. Screw it, we're gonna have to just do it and hopefully we can get out of here before we die from wither. Oh God, I forgot to get this away. We're gonna, we're withered already. We're withering already. Okay, uh, um, uh, uh, okay, that healed us. That's good. Okay. So, hopefully, these will get blown down. Are they not getting blown down? Do they ignore... Oh, they're too big. Of course, they're like three tall. Damn it. Okay. Let me go off camera to fix this. <laughs> okay, I fixed it just by removing those blocks there, and then by instantly doing that... They all fell down and died, <laughs> so they're no longer there to, to show you, unfortunately. I did get, however, one necrotic bone out of it, so we know it works, so that's pretty good. Um, so we're going to at least be able to make four of these hearts right now, which is pretty cool. It's not great, it's not bad, but it's a good way to end the episode, isn't it? Let's take... Is this empty? Yeah, let's take this with us. We'll go upstairs, because I don't know if I've got one of these upstairs, and I want to just end the episode with showing you this. It's pretty cool, if I do say so myself, and, you know, I, I kind of want some... Um, oops, oops, oh no, I want that, I don't want that to despawn, um, and I kind of want to show you what they do, and I want some extra, uh, what these provide, <laughs> not to do any spoilers, so that's cool, oh, I did have one of these, of course I do, I've got plenty of these, so let's keep that there, that's no problem, okay, so let's get out, yeah, two stacks is exactly what it did, which is good, uh, we need four, because that's all we can do at the moment, but that's cool, that's cool. Okay, so let's just do you of this, and then shift click this in. Now I'm not sure how I, how do I, no I just right click it, is that how it works? Yeah, that is how it works. Look down in the bottom left there guys. I am slowly going to build up some extra hearts, some extra hit points, which is awesome. So for example, let's uh, just do this right now. See, it took it off of those two, as opposed to the end two. Now I should get four more. Awesome. So we've got enough to get uh, a lot more, which is really cool. I need to um, either pipe over some mob essence or work out some other way of, of doing that. I'm just going to put this all here together um, so that whenever I get another necrotic bone, I can just do that, which is really cool. So necrotic bones are all we need. We've got a wither skeleton. Um, I've got plenty of mob essence, so we should be able to, no problem getting that. The other things that we do, just to give a quick recap, is we got quite a bit of the precursor to steel. A stack. We're going to put that in there again and we're going to try and get some steel dust. And then we've got, I think, hopefully enough steel when we combine it with the steel up here to actually, oh, where is it? Yep, yeah, to actually start crafting some high pressure boilers, which is awesome sauce. Um, we don't have a ton of coal. Um, because we just went mining for it basically um, in the in the thing, but that's cool. We we can we can keep going with that. We can keep. I think we can make do with what we've got. It's not too too much of a problem. I will probably fully automate this in a little bit just to make sure I get enough steel. Um, but, uh, you know, just by doing something as simple as piping it over to here, 
where it's going to craft into steel. But just to show you that it will go into steel whenever I go in here. Uh, there we go. Steel from Mechanism, which is awesome. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, give it a like. Leave a comment letting me know what you did like and what you didn't like, because that's always useful for me. I know it might have been a bit rushed this season, this episode, but I tried my best to sort of keep it targeted and focused and have a plan of what to do, as opposed to just sort of mumbling around a bit more aimlessly. Soon we'll be doing our skeleton build. Soon we'll be finishing off the power in the heart. And then... Once we sorry not skeleton, then once we finish the skull, we can move everything over to the new place. But I just want to take a bit of a break of mega builds before I do that because it's gonna burn me out otherwise. All right, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you next time.